we had one Dale for every neighborhood, we would have no problems. To the killing on the road to apocalypse that shows how I'm living. You can go with the growth or be sold to the villain. Music is my no dose, it flows through the spirit. My people, we gotta get control of the village. If you came here not knowing, then I hope you can feel it. We need you, so holla at your souls in the mirror. Got Jesus Power Ministries are so in the community that's trapped in a lackluster, showing us the unity. God only knows how we forgot about you and me. It's no I and I so do to you what you would do to me. We don't need no more blood spilling and it bothers me. Massachusetts home of the birth of the colonies, a race of pure ladies that conflict the street policies. Is why I'm asking you to walk with me and not follow me. You were made to love, you were made to trust. I'm involved in and in doing is we've assembled ourselves around the community. Um, for instance, we have posters up. I'm still um, going around talking with some of the street workers uh, programs and see if I can get them involved as well. In order to get the answer that we need, which is peace, we need to all be on board. We need all be on board and um, it's not a single, um, you know, one man or one organization effort. It takes a village to raise a child. And it takes more than a village, the whole city, to raise that child safely. Turn the next page so they don't go to school on the block acting real rude. Stunting deep with another, that can very well be the stepbrother. Here's something you can do, and it's all about you. Come and get with my crew, together we can start this new. People want to see peaceful things. I mean, just giving love, showing love, and talking about love, restoring love back into the minds of our people. Also going to the schools, um, we take the No More Murder campaign, and we're taking in taking the campaign to vote love and peace back into our lives and our communities, and that will help stop the violence at a great level. It's not just the teens, but it's like the 22-year-olds, the 30-year-olds. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable that the education is not in us right now, and so we want to re-educate, so so to speak, renew the way we think, renewing of our minds, and get us thinking peace, love, and, and harmony amongst each other. Come on.
I was shot, stabbed, shot, and then shot nine times. First, I was shot in the face with a 32 caliber, the bullet still lodged in my face. I was stabbed in my lung in 87. Then I got shot in 1990 in the face with a uh, 12 gauge shotgun in Birmingham, Alabama. And um, then I was shot um, in 1991, March 20th, nine times, and they said that I was um, not going to make it. <laughs> Dale Robinson, alias Dale Seymour, alias Hitman, alias Big Time, alias Big C, was found shot nine times today. They say he's not going to make it. He is on life support. Oh, hold on. This just ended. Dale Robinson, alias Seymour, has passed away. experience and I could see uh, my body laying at the, um, on, on, the, on, the, on the bed in the hospital. I was on the breathing machine, you know, um, and it was keeping me alive. When the doctor said, no, he's not going to make it, and the priest said, wow, started crying because we were basketball rivals when we were high school students. He ran out crying and that made me, you know, think like, wow, if the priest is running out, you know, I mean, um, this is it for me. But then the, I heard the voice of the Lord say, breathe. Uh, just throw your hands up, bounce to the track, that's what's up. Show your neighbor love, God up above is watching us. He gave me my instructions, commissioned me to go forward, and that's exactly what I've been doing. I'm going forward and testifying to the power of God and, and um, doing my best to be an example. And to be an example, I have to bring peace within myself as well as to others. There's no way I can say that I'm, you know, holy or love you and love myself and then say I love you but do nothing while violence is taking place like it is. So um, that's the main reason why I do what I do. We're up on Humboldt on Ruthman Street where we have our camp here every summer. We ain't getting live down here at Bromley Heath and we want to just touch on again the No More Murders. This is No More Murders 2009 campaign to infinity and we want y'all to hear from the future. No more murder! Kirby, what is it you want? No murder! You want? No murder! No more murder! Amani, come here, little brother. Y'all give Amani a hand. Yeah! Now, Amani's going to tell you a little bit about why he wants no more murder. Tell us a little bit about why you don't want no more murder. Well, in 2006, my brother Antoine D.R. Perkins he was mur murdered by her. I was made was made on, a, on my porch, and now he is caught, and he won't do his time. And we don't want no more murder, right? Yep. We don't want no more murder, man. No more murder, my dude. Thank you, man. Unity is one of the major things, that's the key, to unite, to unite. No matter what race you are, the word divide, take it out. Whatever you want to call yourself, whatever you're classified, you're a human being. One race, we all come together for the same goal, just to have peace in our community. So our kids can be raised in a peaceful, I mean a powerful, peaceful community. Man, that would produce some unbelievably talented, gifted kids will go forward 
and bring forth a future that we can't even imagine. Just because I wear designer clothes Throwbacks and jabos And I also have cornrows That mean I smoke the troll No, I live inside the bricks And I drive a nice whip Sip. No, woo, woo, woo. And I don't push keys to stack my chips. No. time I didn't know why I was even on this earth but um, to know that my purpose is to help somebody else get their mind in a, in a manner where you just love themselves it, it's, it's unbelievable that's so powerful for me to have that in me just because it helps someone to recognize who they are and what they can do what they can contribute while they yet breathe this blessed air I mean because we don't know how long we're gonna be here that being the case Take every day, I mean, and enjoy it to the fullest. No exaggeration. I know people have heard that before. But if you really start doing that, it can be an amazing life for you. An amazing life. And we are only here, Tapa, to do for one another. When we stand before our maker, whoever you believe that might be, all he's going to want to know is, what did you do while you was there for your fellow man? I want to be able to go before my creator and he say, job well done. That's it. I ain't no animal, no one dog, not a gang member, no one dog. I'm not on the block, no, selling drugs, just because I got brains. So one of the things we do that we want to bring that so that it can become that way is we go door to door and we get the residents involved. And I believe that that's the main part right there to get the residents involved because as I said previously, unity. In order to get them to the table, introduce yourselves, knock on the door, you know, and campaigning. Just like we want to get somebody in for governor, for president, like we did for Obama. You want to vote for Obama? Knock, knock, knock. You want to vote for peace? We, we, want, we want peace back, and we're not afraid to step up to what they consider to be the, the, the hard head, the proven risk young man that they call proven risk. And no, we, we're not afraid of that. I mean, we walk up to them and let them know if we hear about them doing something negative, we get the call and we'll go over and we'll say, you know what, young man, you know, you get a different set of circumstances if you will follow the instructions that we're about to give you. And that is change the way that you're behaving. I mean, we can help you with the job situation, career, start your own business if that's what you want. But you're not going to kill anybody because we hear you got a problem with so-and-so. And we all know, I mean, that person or that person, we all know what's on your mind because he doesn't want to fight with you anymore. He doesn't want to shoot at you. We're asking you to put your gun down. Are you for that? We know that we're the people that love you, and, and just like we love you, we love ourselves. We're not going to let you sit on the porch and we don't know you got a beef. And all of a sudden, somebody, the car's coming, and you seen it, you got up and ran away, and we didn't see it coming, but you did, and they looking to get you. But then little Susie gets shot and killed, all because of something you got going on that you don't want to tell nobody about. We're not going to allow that to continue on. We're going to do everything we can do to stop the violence stopper. It's too numb. I'm human. You use me just for.